applause for Chloe LaBranche, everybody. Yeah. 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 today. I don't get a round of applause for that. <laughs> but I decided that I was going to stop feeling bad for myself today. And I decided I'm going to feel bad for overweight kids. It's not their fault. There are so many good snacks out there. I call them gateway snacks. You think they're safe? They start off small with animal crackers. And then they're like, ooh, look at this bear. I wonder what you'd be like covered in cinnamon sugar. Oh wait, Teddy Grahams. It's not over yet. Next thing you know, these kids are like, ooh, look at this Teddy Graham. I wonder what you would be like dipped in frosting. Boom, Dunkaroos. Before you know it, these kids are like little drug addicts. Just looking for their next sugar fix. They even got little track marks. Boom, diabetes. <laughs> you know what uh, I could do without? Models. They're always getting everything first. And all the nightclubs, all the modeling gigs. <laughs> Speaking of clubs, I think they're super weird. I was at a nightclub the other night, and the bouncer kept asking me if I wanted to buy a table. I said, if I wanted to be a table, I'd be at home on Craigslist. I'm here because I want to dance. <laughs> you know what, uh, I don't think... You know, uh, Keurigs? K-Cups, those coffee makers? I don't think they're that great. You're either with me on that or you're not. You know a movie I don't think people quote enough? Avatar. Mr. Jake Sully. You come here, you act like baby. You don't know what to do. Could go all night, that's a long movie. <laughs> so I was uh, booking a flight the other day, and I booked it on one of those travel sites online, because I heard that if you book it during certain days, the price will go down. So I was pretty excited, and I called my travel agent, well, <laughs> and I asked her, I said, do you think the flight to Vegas is going to go down? <laughs> She said, sir, we are just a booking site. We have nothing to do with safety. I was on the Upper East Side the other day, and I thought to myself, the adoption rate must be incredibly high up here. All these kids in their strollers look nothing like their mothers. Had trouble with like dodging people on the streets? No. I thought it was just me and the Asians. Uh, so my boyfriend and I, we just got back together. Yeah. yeah. Glad I didn't get it from him. Anyways, we're not to tell anyone about it, so he calls it insider dating. Whenever we go to dinner, I have to pay. He doesn't want to tip off the SEC. I'm beginning to feel more and more like Martha Stewart. All this cooking at home and inside information. Uh, sometimes I think to myself, I wonder if my dog knows how much Sarah McLaughlin cares about him. <laughs> and whenever he's bad, I just turn on in the arms of an angel. Remind him how 
how lucky he is. Well, you know he's cleaning up his own shit. You know how some people like to, you know, go to Starbucks, read a book to relax, or go to yoga? I like to eat croutons. Because when you're in croutons, when you eat croutons, and you chew them, it's so loud. It just dreams of all the world, all the outside noises. I found myself eating a lot more croutons when I go to dinner with my friends. I don't even know what these girls are talking about anymore. In between Jews the other day, I overheard myself talking to one of my friends and I said, just take it one day at a time. If the waiter had heard, he would have thought we were talking about a crack addiction, not an unanswered text message. I was seeing this guy and he was Southern and we went on a date and I asked him, I said, am I your girlfriend? He looked at me and said, no, nah, baby, you're more than that. You're like my cousin. Well, I'm Chloe. Thanks for coming.